welcome back and I have a, another set with your chest video this is going to be a helpful video um, a beautiful young lady contacted me and she had a question about wigs and I am also putting this question on here so you guys can give her your advice I am not a expert with wigs whatsoever but this is just my thoughts and my opinions and you can give her some help with yours um, I don't want the rudeness or anything like that this is to help someone but she said that she's afraid to wear wigs she has a lot, a lot of hair, and she gets tired of putting it up in a ponytail. She has broken hair ties, brushes, combs. She, I have tried all types of hair products except relaxers so I can wear it down. She's watched my videos for a long time and was wondering about them. She's afraid to buy a wig. She's afraid it might come off. She loves the bohemian curl and the wet and wavy styles. Her face is small and slim, so she doesn't wear straight hair. So any advice we could give her would be great. So let's help this sister out. So first of all, let's go over the mythical part of it. Wigs are not just going to fall off. They're not just going to come off. You're not going to be, do you see this? You see this without me even moving my head? I mean, I'm going to pull my head off and rip my wig, but it's not like the olden days. I'm not going to be walking down the street or walking in the mall and it's going to fall off. And look, it's not even glued down all the way. It's glued down here and here. I got combs here, combs in the back. Let me help you out. Get out of the fear of the myth of it falling off because that is not going to happen. Now, if you out there scrapping every day, throwing them blows, somebody might pull it off. Okay, so my first suggestion for when you first start out is to get someone professional to do it. Even if it's not in a beauty salon, if you know a girl that puts on lace fronts, installs wigs, get them to do it first. They're going to do it with the lace front glue that's going to last you about two weeks or so. And that'll give you that security you're looking for, the confidence you're looking for to wear your units. Um, I don't know why this eye is tearing up but anyways that'll give you the confidence you need you know that wig is on you know it's on tight it's been installed it's not going nowhere you will feel how tight it is i mean i'm just you are using regular glue and i can stick my finger in here and take this off and we'll go over that but professionally install the first time go to a beauty shop a beauty salon someone you know that do hair get your wig done that way the first time don't go for broke most girls will charge you like i don't know I don't know because I, I only get mine installed on my birthday or my anniversary or when I'm going out of town. And my girl normally charges between $80 and $100 to install it. I think wig installation is expensive. Now, if they're going to cut and style it, wash your hair and do all that, maybe. But I just think it's expensive. I don't pay for a professional install unless I'm going somewhere and I don't want I don't want to do it. And I'm going to sleep in it and everything. Okay. But for you, the first couple of times or the first two times... Let someone put it on for you that knows what they're doing. They will braid your hair down. They'll wash your hair. They'll blow it out, straighten it, braid it down because you have a lot of natural hair, probably like my daughter, and it needs to be braided down to your head. And they, somebody real good can get it flat, okay? Now, when you start doing it yourself, when you don't want to spend all that money and you're comfortable with it, you're going to wash your hair, straighten it, blow it out. I know it's a lot, girl, but then braid it and it just cornrows. Just some cornrows. Now, I don't have a head full of hair, so my hair is in a ponytail back here. I can just brush mine down and gel it down and put it in a ponytail. But you said a lot of hair. So, wash it, blow dry it, straighten it. When you straighten it, get somebody or even yourself, braid it down. Uh, it's, you know, a couple of cornrows. It don't have to be really small. It's a couple of cornrows to lay flat. Okay? Don't let all the plucking and tweezing and everything the girls do on these videos scare you. That's for when you have mastered it, and I still don't do that. I just don't do that, okay? I ain't got time to do that. Um, don't let that scare you. Cut your lace off and put your wig on, or get a wig with no lace. There's wigs in the stores that don't have lace. Here are the key things that you want as a new person wearing a wig. First of all, you want combs. You want two combs in the front. You want a comb in the back. And you want straps. Those are the key things that you want as a new wig wearer for me. That's what you want. That's what I look for. Because I'm going to take these two combs when I put the wig on my head. And I'm going to stick these combs in a braid. 
So that wig ain't going nowhere. I'm going to stick this other comb in this braid. So that wig is not going anywhere. So for instance, I have a comb sticking in here that's sticking in my braid. It's not going anywhere. I put a little bit of glue here and we'll go over that too. But your first security method when you're doing it yourself, you want combs. Then my ponytail back here, this comb is sticking up under my ponytail. This comb back here is up under my ponytail. So that's security for me. This ain't going nowhere. It's up under my ponytail, okay? And then I have my straps pulled and latched in as far as they can go so it's tight enough on my head. So without me even gluing my unit down, it's secure. I've got combs sticking in here, I've got combs sticking in the back, and I've adjusted the strap just like you're adjusting a belt. That this thing is on my head, sometimes I have to go in the bathroom at work and loosen it up. That's how tight I have it at times. It is not going anywhere, sis, trust me. Now you get freaky in the bedroom, it might. You know, tell them don't pull it too hard. But it's not going anywhere. So what I do for everyday work, because when I come home, I've been at work all day. I've been at work all day, this wig ain't went nowhere. Ain't went nowhere. It's actually 7-Eleven. It's 7-Eleven. Um, so, oh, somebody done called my phone. Hold on. All right, I'm sorry. I don't know where I was. But anyways, um, you got the combs in. You have the strap on. So, therefore, you are to a point where you know your wig is secure. Now, for every day wear, I like to come home and go to the gym or work out. I don't sleep in my units. So, what I do for extra security in the front or to make it look natural in the front, um, you can use Got To Be Glued. This is one of the Got To Be Glued products. Um, there is also, where's my spray if my kids haven't gotten to it. There's also a Got To Be Glued spray. The yellow one is better than the other ones. Even the yellow gel is better than the other ones. Uh, my oldest daughter uses spritz. She puts spritz underneath. You, and tie it with a scarf. I know you see all these girls running around here with scarves on. You tie. I can put this glue on. This is what I did this morning. Put this glue on. Put the scarf on. And get dressed and go all the way to work. And I don't take the scarf off till I get to work. And it is stuck on there for the day until. And I, you see how easily I took my finger and lifted that glue up. I'm not damaging my hair. I'm not damaging my edges. I can take this off. Now a lot of times I will use a little bit of water. Um, to loosen that up and take it off so I don't pull any of my edges, but that's what I use. So the basic rundown is, first of all, to get over the fear, have it professionally installed, at least the first or second time. You'll feel that security of that lace glue and you'll feel more secure than doing it yourself and it not coming off. The next thing you want to do is try to do it yourself. Try to do it yourself on a weekend when you're not going anywhere in particular or do it when you're headed to church. Get up Sunday morning, put your wig on, tuck your combs in your hair. Your combs need to tuck inside your hair. That's why I love a wig with combs. I don't ever buy a wig without combs, okay? Tuck this comb behind your last, your braid, you know, your braids. After you braid your hair, take a little thing, put them in a ponytail, tuck your comb behind your braid up under your hair so it's there. Adjust your straps so that the wig is tight on your head, okay? Then, if you want to put a little bit of spritz or a little bit of got to be glued or something on your edges part to lay it down, I am not good with baby hairs. I am not good with laying hair down. So I lay it down the best I can as long as I look decent. You know, we have to stop worrying so much about people and how people feel and what they're going to say. I watch videos. I do the best I can. I don't look a hot darn mess. You know what I'm saying? I get my little gel, put it on there, get my brush, and that's it. You can even pull it back in a ponytail. Pull it back in a ponytail. If that'll make you feel more secure. And then put your ponytail holder on. Now you know this thing is really on your head. Okay? So hopefully that I have explained that right. Um, like I said, 
you can go the professional route the first two times, get secure, get secure and get secure and slinging it and, and pulling it and going through it. It's not going to come off the way you think it's going to come off. And then when you start practicing and doing it yourself, you know, do it on the weekend when you don't have nowhere to go, when you're not going nowhere too far, when you're just going to church or you're just going to one of your kids games or you're going to the movies. And if you're afraid of cutting the lace off and don't know what to do, there are units out there. Um, that are not lace fronts, they're just wigs. Buy a wig from the beauty supply store with no lace on it whatsoever and wear it. You know, get it right and wear it. Most of those come with a natural part and a natural hairline because they don't have lace on them. And you can still put a little bit of glue on the forefront of it right on your head to stick it to your head. These glues and these spritz are going to stick to your head. Once they get hard and stick, they're on there. Trust me, they're on there until you take them off. So hopefully you guys out there can give her any other bit of advice that I haven't given her. Um, the next, I've done a couple of videos with installation, in installing my units. The reason why I don't do massive videos on installing my units is because I don't do all that plucking and trimming and plucking and cutting baby hairs and laying down baby hairs that other girls do. And I know that's what a lot of people need want to see. I do what's best for me. And I make it through the day and I still am beautiful in my own eyes. So do what's best for you. Watch some videos, master it, play around in the bathroom, put the wig on, let it get dry, test it out on your day off. Enjoy life. Get these units, girl, and get your life. Because one thing about having natural hair, see, that's why I could never go natural. I need to switch it up. I need to hook it up. I need to do it up. And I know I have my daughter and two sisters that are all natural. So I know like the hustle of wanting a different hairstyle. Plus, I couldn't wear the hairstyle, same hairstyle all the darn time anyways. I mean, that's just how I roll. But play around with it, sis. You know who you are. DM me if you need to. DM me pictures. Ask me questions. Ask me videos. I am always here for you guys. And those of you out there who are new to wearing wigs or wear the units, help a sister out and comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.